What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to be doing, probably going to be a little bit of odd job stuff. Uh, we just now getting everything cleaned up from uh, weed harvest which has been a little while ago. Haven't picked up the camera in a while. We're going to walk across the road here. It is a little cloudy today. Uh, temperatures are alright. Feels pretty warm out here kind of but looks pretty bad off to the uh, east there but beans are looking pretty good um as you can see they have got some pop-up weeds which i mean that's that's fine because they are ready but we're gonna get those harvested and i know okay you gotta notice the elephant in the room there's more than one i know y'all can tell i bought a john deere s690 it's a 2012 model. Let y'all hop up in here. As you can see, it's got everything we needed. I know I said I was going to keep the 9650, but running weird and upgraded. So, I got this. Doing pretty good. I bought this. 2100. I'm going to pull that with the other elephant in the room. Which is this John Deere 8960. I uh, mentioned to y'all might be getting 8960 since my other Challenger had a wire fire and uh, didn't know how reliable it was going to be. So I bought this 8960, which I know is reliable, has rebuilt, well, a new motor and a new transmission in it. Has the Starfire 3000, <gasps> oh, excuse me guys, <laughs> monitor and GPS, as you can see. Me and uh, Dad, we did do that. We put the um, my, uh, globe on ourselves, and then I got my finally got my cart back from my brother-in-law. Finally decided to bring me my Brent back, and I took him his Kenzie back. Uh, like I said, I'm leaving the bean head here until we're fixing to get started on corn harvest today. We're gonna at least be taking everything down there. Uh, maybe tomorrow before we do get started. I'm not really sure. I've got some more stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to head on down to Dad's house. And uh, I'll catch you guys in, the, in a few. Okay, so we're fixing to turn into Dad's here, and I have my, well, first off, I'll tell y'all this after I get done. Dad's not home. After I get done showing y'all what I'm talking about, his garage closed, he's not home. I bought a Brightliner T9 525. This thing is a beast and has the biggest Jake brake ever. Open the door here. So, I'm going to crank it up and let y'all hear what it sounds like. She is a beast on a cold start. I got a big old bumper up here so I can run over some deer if they get in my way. Got the stacks, of course. I got my headache rack. Ooh, that was hot. And then I've got, as you can see, the snorkels air intake and then I've got a strobe back there uh, I've got the Demco hooked up I have this park down here is because this is where we store all the wheat uh, <clears throat> it's got a massive jake break on it I'll pull out on the road here so y'all can hear and we'll, we'll get out on here it's got a CB on it Oop. Dang it, we're stuck on something. Okay, now that's better. We're unstuck. But. Here, I'll go out this way. I'll pull over here and let y'all hear the Jake break. Yeah, that's pretty loud. We'll just park it on out here. For the time being. 
She is a beaut. I do love it. I've had it for a while now. Y'all probably saw the drone footage. And it was on there. That was about two weeks after y'all saw the uh, last video. On Weed Harvest. Dang. He don't have anything in his shops. But I'm going to show you what Dad bought. We actually bought both of these at the same auction. We bought it to pull this. Sold the PT-600 and got this. This is a trans store. As you can see, it is in need of a paint job. Don't mind that, though. But it is a... Like, it, it's going to get the job done. It already is. International Harvester, as you can see. We'll hop on up in here. Stick, obviously. Control, CB, gauges. That is a bright light. It's, you ought to see it at night. It's insanely bright. But I'll give her a nice cold start here. There we go. She cranked up. This one does not have a jake brake. But it's okay. I'll let y'all hear the horn. Pretty basic horn. Cut that off. But yeah, that is our trucks that we just bought. Let me know down in the comments what y'all think about them. And uh, I think we're going to head on back to the house and get the combine. And we're going to go see about cutting some corn. Well, I literally just checked my phone and it's fixing to rain here in a little while. I didn't realize that. I thought it was going that way, but apparently it's coming this way and it's supposed to rain some. So we're going to need to shuffle some equipment. Uh, we're going to put this 8960 in the shed. And uh, I got to put some other things in the shed. Obviously don't want to get them rained on. Uh, I do have a couple. I have a demo on the farm right now that I want to show y'all. It's from John Deere and uh, EIT. They partnered up and they got me a demo for testing my fields for nutrients. It's actually not a really a demo, but it's kind of the co-ops is what I don't know how to explain it, but it came from the co-op and. It's got a Starfire 6000 and this thing, which takes soil samples, and it sends DNA tests in, and it's on a gator. So, how cool is that? It does have a, um, three-point, and then I've been using it because I've been applicating some phosphorus and other stuff, nitrogen, stuff like that, incorporating it with the, uh, 8270. Uh, I do plan, like I said, it is supposed to rain. We're just going to be doing some odd jobs today. We're going to have to move some stuff. Uh, I do want to put, I think that's a, yep, that's a 6,000 on there right now. We're going to have to put the 3,000 on there because we're, we're going to be using the 8960 now to plant. Uh, that's just going to have us a few more horses up under the hood. And that won't be as much strain and pull on that A270. I'm still going to try to plant all my corn with the 4955 and this little 7000. Uh, I may have to use the DB60 some to help out, but I'm not really sure. 8950 is still going to go on that cedar. I need to bring this in because it might rain on this. And we are going to stack those pallets. We're also going to try to get as prepped as we can. So we can start corn harvest next week. So. Okay. I need to get in the skid steer. Bring this in first. Okay, so we'll bring this, or take this right in here. There we go. And we're going to hop on in the skid steer, because we need to change over to the pallet forks. Oh, let me unhook this. There we go. So now we'll go on over here. 
and we'll get our pallet forks straighten them out oh those are the tractor pallet forks okay all right well darn and the loader tractor is at the horse farm yes you heard me right we did get some horses and some cows so what are we gonna do i guess i'm just for the meantime gonna take the skid steer and i'm gonna push him over kind of so we'll do that like like so for the time being cause i think the guys are using the loading tractor okay so we'll push oh whoa 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 i ran up on that tire we'll do this that should be good we'll come back around here push it that way and they'll at least be out of the way we're not using this shed right now hop out of the skid steer okay that door shut and I'll run through there shut this one there we go alrighty so that's looking good everything's looking good over there I'm gonna have to take those rippers inside that 2100 and some of the other stuff I don't want that to get messed up we are gonna probably take some uh, grain to sell I meant to tell you all that too mmm is over here we will get that unhook from this I'm gonna unhook this real quick I'll see y'all in a minute okay now I can pull forward that should do it we got that unhooked dang that shed em that shed's empty too we need to bring some of those trailers up from dad's back up here uh the bean head hmm. I don't I, th I don't think it'll be hurt in the rain <laughs> It's going to be more struggle putting it up. So I think it'll be fine. It's been out in the rain before. It was at the dealership. So, you know. And no, we're not fixing to go ripping with this because the 8950 obviously probably couldn't even pull it because you got to have, I think, upwards of like 300 horsepower to pull this. And, you know, we don't have that here. So... I'm going to have to take these duels probably off this tractor because this is turning into a more so of a utility tractor than anything. Okay, so we'll get out, pop the pin on that, and pull that stand forward. That should be good. And we're good. And I had, I don't know if y'all remember, I had an 11 shank. I traded it in for a 7 shank because the 8950 could only pull a certain amount. So we have a 7 shank now. I love this quick kit. She back up to it and pick it up. This automatic quick hitch. Invisible quick hitch. Okay. And I did buy that little cedar over there to go on the back of the T6. I'm thinking about trading in the T6 for maybe a uh, John Deere 5070E. I've had my eyes on one and I really like it. So we're going to pull this in here. We're going to hot go on. I think we're going to go on down to the... Uh, to dads I'm gonna ask talk to him about some stuff we're thinking about going and sell some grain maybe so uh I'll catch you guys when we get up there alrighty so we're here at dads and we're getting out of the semi I forgot that we only had weed in there and I go up there well I can get some beans nope there wasn't any in there 
I totally forgot. So we're going to go on up here to the house. I think I have some in there. The prices are right. Well, I know I have some in there. My brother has some in there. And uh, he, he actually, I actually bought them from him. Came with the farm. Yeah, I know. Sell, sold beans to me in his bins with, with the farm, so. Pretty good deal if you ask me. Free beans. Well, not technically, because we did buy the farm, so. I don't know. I love this camera here. Especially, I know y'all like it because it's very, y'all can see all the angles. I just put the GoPro face in this, and that way y'all can see everything. Okay, so I'm going to get this truck loaded up, and I will see y'all guys in a minute. Okay, so the truck's all loaded up. We had about 25% of corn and 24% of soybeans. That'll get us a little bit. He didn't have much in there, so, you know, it is what it is. But we're going to head on up here, and we're going to sell this because it's going to take forever to get up there in this slow car. And y'all probably don't want to see me driving. But anyway, I'm going to drive on up here. Uh, one quick, one quick Drake, one quick Jake break. Anyway, I will see you guys when we get up there to the leg. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Y'all ready for it? Biggest Jake break ever. Waking up everybody within the next mile. telling you man that that never gets old okay so we're gonna turn right here Oop, hit a little bump there and I'm gonna go on in, in here and get unloaded and get my ticket and I'll see you guys in a minute yep you too well guys I just got my ticket I got a check for 22,000 let's see eight hundred and twelve dollars and we're gonna get heading on back to the house probably gonna take another couple more loads hate that y'all couldn't see any of the uh, harv corn harvest today in this episode but y'all just y'all get to see it next week uh, we are fixing to have some bad weather here they said so I reckon I better get on back to the house Anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Thank y'all for watching, and hey, I will see y'all later. Thanks, guys. <laughs>